Well, guys, it uh, wasn't very long ago, just about two months ago or so, that I was thinking of doing an Earthquake Patterns video. I never got around to it. But I noticed an Earth a pattern in the Earthquake data, in the statistics from the USGS. And uh, it wasn't until I came here, and most of us have already seen this site, I've seen it before, by the 2012 hoax. And this reminded me, right here, in conclusion, earthquakes are not becoming more frequent. Earthquakes are not becoming more intense. There is 110 years of data from the USGS which shows that there is no increase in the size or number of earthquakes. Alright. They're not showing much here. They just don't, don't really say that much. I mean, they don't tell you that much. They have a very small list here and it's all like average okay well, let's look let's look at the data let's really take a close look at it look at the number of small earthquakes no magnitude all right 3000 2800 2900 they go back they go below the 2000s and go straight down they go up a little bit more but then look they just completely die off 2009 and 2010 no magnitudes pretty much go away. So does this. Pretty much 0.1 to 0.9 go away. The number of 1.0s to 1.9s heavily decreases. 2.0 or 2.9. This remains kind of steady. It peaks in 2004, uh, back with the big one that causes the tsunami and then starts going down we see a pretty even trend in 2.0 2.9 again in 3.0 and 3.9 we see them dying off 4.0 to 4.9 we see pretty much an increase we start with 8,000 move through 9,000 to 10,000 13,000 12,000 they die off in 2009 was uh it's a it's a year that you kind of gotta ignore when these and these statistics compounded together. Everything kind of died off in two thousand nine. It was a weird year, um, but everything comes back up and shows you know we're still with pretty heavy four point zero to four point nines. We're definitely in a high period of stronger earthquakes. All right, they're stronger, more frequent stronger earthquakes, and less frequent weak earthquakes. This is just factual data. I mean, you just come in here, look at this, check out the URL. All right, it's the page of earthquake facts and statistics at the USGS. And everything that starts going 5.0s, they increase from the 1300s to the 2000s. All right, 1300s, 1200s, you know, 1500, now, you know, 1900. And you can almost see like a cross here, you know, like things peak, you know, in a sort of a, in a diagonal way. I'm sure if you were to take the time out to examine that, you would sort of see these, you probably see it's like a sine wave basically in this. All right. And just so clear that uh, 6.0 to 6.9 activity has been above normal slightly above normal at least most of the time and 7.0 to 7.9s were in the low teens and we've entered high teens and even 20 last year 20, 21 7.0 to 7.9s in 2010 like I said it's a wave you'd probably see these levels crisscrossing one going down one going up so you see the lows, you know, increase. So they're not becoming more frequent and not becoming more intense from the data. Where's your data on this site? I have never met a person in my life, just uh, one or two people or a group of people and, you know, grassroots group that is so interested in uh, in 
I don't know, in making people not believe in things that they consider just crazy. It's all just imagination. There's no such thing as other planetary bodies. You know, we would never, ever get hit with anything coming from out there in space. And planets don't affect each other. Their gravitational pull doesn't affect each other, even though when the moon comes by, it moves the water. Yeah, so it's completely insane to think that anything affects anything else in the solar system. That's just insanity. Even though there's growing scientific proof. And we know that when planets come close, they have an effect. The moon moves around the Earth and causes the tides. Isn't that enough? Isn't gravity enough? And isn't the fact that uh, these people have more Swiss cheese in their information full of holes? They want to just debunk everything, even to the point where they lie. And to tell, tell you things like they're not becoming more frequent, and they're not becoming more intense. What about this? The totals. Low 20,000s, high 20,000s, 30,000s, 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 14,000. And a little resting period last year in total compared to previously. But where are we headed this year, next year? Just look at the wave. Alright? This is the middle point of the waves. Right here. Twos, a four, a couple of ones. The wave of high numbers, you know, has not hit this yet. We are now back at a dormant period with ones. Once again, this will repeat twos, four, eight, oh, to nine point nine. This is coming this year, next year, two years from now. We don't know, but it will repeat. Everything here repeats. That's just the nature of things. It's a cycle. And we've got data from the past about what these cycles do. But we shouldn't listen to the predictions of our predecessors. They were all just crazy. They had no idea what was going on. They were clueless.